Hello everyone, this is Kushagr. Welcome to our YouTube channel DevTown. If you like the content, do like, share and subscribe to our channel. So you'll be seeing a series of videos required for you to get a good understanding of web development. So let's start students. So our today's topic is your rem and m font size unit. So let me just quickly create one rem underscore m dot html file. So as you can see in this file we would be talking about what is rem and what is m so let me just quickly generate the boilerplate code and change the title to font size units let me not not just say as font size because it will include the padding as well padding and all other margins let me just say it as size unit so let me just quickly dispose the server and start the server again as you can see the server is started and before moving to this part like uh, in the previous videos comment section students were asking like why I'm not starting from the beginning why this advanced topic I'm going ahead so as you can see I have already created the videos on basic topics so if you have not uh, bookmarked my playlist so please do that and uh, you can start your web development journey from the basic videos which I have uploaded and don't skip it students because all the topics are interrelated to each other so do bookmark it and do subscribe and like to our channel as well so let me just move ahead and let me just quickly create one container uh, that is div with a class container and let me just quickly have one um, uh, h1 tag with a uh, id of say first and uh, let me just have this three as you can see and let me just quickly give headings to this like let me just type this is first heading let me just change this first to second and this to third and let me just change it over here as well and let me just change it over here as well now let me just quickly add some css let me just go towards the style tag and quickly add it let me just say for h1 let me just say it as text align to center and uh, yeah that's it let me just quickly check the output how it is looking so as you can see the output is as expected there are three headings and they all are in center because of the text alignment so now let's just talk about what is m and rem so now let me just say so what happens let first let me just talk about what is m and let me just say if you like for container let me just say some font size container and for container i am seeing font size as say 10 pixels so and now for say i'm seeing id uh, so that is your first and for first i am having the font size of say 10 em that's it now let me just quickly shut back and let me just check what is happening so let me just tell you what is the basic size and how the changes has been occurred so as you can see in this part now the default font size was 2m this is the font size so this has i have overwritten by font size as 10 em and for the container part if you will check the font size which uh, was there let me just quickly yeah the container is not getting selected let me just say as you can see the font size is 16 but the font basic size was 10 pixels that i have given so now let me just move ahead to this part and let me just talk about this yeah let me just go towards the computed part and as you can see the font size is now 100 pixel for this h1 that is your first so what is happening students let me just shift back towards the whiteboard and explain you 
सो वेन एवर वी टॉक अबाउट टी एम स्टूडेंट्स जस्ट सेकेंड लेट मी जस्ट सेलेक्ट दी पेन सो वॉट इज वॉट डज एम बेसिकली डू लेट्स कंसिडर दैट दिस इज योर वेबसाइट लेट मी जस्ट टेक इट एंड लेट से दिस इज योर कंटेनर विच वॉज देयर and inside this container there are three h1 tags let's say this is the h1 first sorry h1 first and h1 second and h1 third so there are three h1 so what happened i have given this font size for this container as 10 pixels and for this i have given the font size of mm. 3m or say 10m in the case of previous video which i have given it as 10m so in this what will happen it will take the font size of its this much time of the font size of its parent element so if its font size is 10 pixels so its font size would be 10 into 10 that is 10 of this and 10 times of this so if it is it would be 3 so 3 times of this it if it would be 4 the 4 times of this so that's how the m works m takes basically the font size of its parent element so that's how the m is and if we if we will talk about the padding and the margin it's little bit different let me just explain you about the padding and the margin as well so if i will say the padding say let me just say 3 sorry not rem 3m and let me just because the size is too much big let me just say to as em and let me just quickly shift back so now if you will see the padding uh, the font size is 30 pixels that is 3 into 10 that would be 30 obviously and now the padding is your 90 pixels so how it is happening so what happens in this we will take the font size padding we the padding would be computed three times of font size of that particular element so the font size is 30 so the padding would be 30 into 30 that is the font size of that element now it would be 90 so that's how the font size and the margin is calculated so if i will say the margin also let me just say margin as 3m so it would be again 90 let me just say yeah as you can see the margin is also 90 so if we will talk about the padding and the margin that would be font size of that particular element in in case of m and if we will talk about your font size uh, in case of m that would be your parent element so that's how the m work so now the big question arises when we have to use this m and other units so in case students if you want let me just squeeze it as you can see the other things are also adjusting according it so let me just squeeze as you can see the content is adjusting according it so if whenever you want your website to be responsive and you want that the content inside the particular element should squeeze and expand accordingly whenever this uh, your website shifts from your uh, desk say desktop to your laptop in case of this will uh, squeeze the website and in case of your mobile to your laptop or your desktop this will expand so you want your content also to be expand and to squeeze then in that case you will use m so this is all about the m students and let me just talk about your now rem so what is rem so if you want rem basically works with your base parent element that is your html so let me just quickly say html and let me just quickly say the font size for this html tag to say 20 say 15 pixels so this is the 15 pixel and let me just quickly say second and let me just add one more 
properties to it now let me just copy these properties only and let me just say the font size to rem 3 rem rem not over here rem yeah what will happen now as you can see now it's 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 taking the font size or the not of its parent elements it's taking the topmost parent element that is your html so if uh, the topmost HTML parent element font size is 15 pixels. So it would be taking three times of that. That would be, let me just say, let me just select this part. As you can see, the font size is 45. The three times of 15 would be 45. And now uh, in case of padding and margin, that is also would be 45. So it will take the font size of that parent element. It won't be taking anything of uh, your parent or your particular element it would be taking the topmost parent element only so let me just explain in the whiteboard as well if you have not understood so let me just shift back let me just scroll it down and let me just select the pen so let's consider that this is your website and this is the container and there are two or three tags so how to let's say i have given the this is the html tag and i have given the font size of say 10 pixels to this and for this this is your container class and i have given the font size of say five pixels to this and now in this case and this this is your say h1 so uh, over here i am giving the font size of say 3 rem so what will happen in case of m it was taking of a container that is the parent element over here it will take the topmost uh, parent element so what is the topmost parent element that is your html so it will take three times of the topmost that is 10 pixels so it will take 3 into 10 so that would be 30 pixels so that's how it works and in case of padding what will happen in case of m it was taking uh, whatever times of this font size that is your element only but over here it will always take of pa topmost parent element it won't take anything of your element as well as of the parent element it will always go for your topmost parent element i can understand it is bit, it is little bit your bit confusing but don't worry if you have not understand or if you have any kind of a confusion do go back and watch the video and if you want a detailed explanation about that there is one a particular website let me just say comprehensive guide to rem and m so if you want a detailed description like where should we use m and where should we use rem so you can refer this website as well so it's a very good content and it has explained in detail like where should we use rem and where should we use m so you can go through this website as well so that's all students about the rem and m and if you have any kind of a doubts do let me know in the comment section and if you want any other explanations about rem and m do let me know so that's all thank you